This warm stretch has allowed so many children to head outside and try out their Christmas gifts, including one girl and her parents in Warwick. The gift, an unexpected one that left them speechless and with tear-filled eyes. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacono sat down with them today, and he has the story you will see only on Eyewitness News tonight. The parents of four-and-a-half-year-old Deanna had searched to find her a battery-powered kid's car to ride around in, but nothing seemed to fit her needs. Deanna has cerebral palsy, so the surprise that came on Christmas was beyond their dreams. In a quaint section of Warwick, where wreaths with bows and lights hang on the light posts, there is a Christmas mystery. Very loving, very Love affectionate, yeah. Always happy. Neighbors know little Deanna very well. Her parents, Courtney and Tom, say they are often out walking the streets with Deanna in a special carrier. With cerebral palsy, she's nonverbal and doesn't walk. But on Christmas morning, with the presents opened, a surprise sat outside their front door. I see an electric scooter with a big red bow. <laughs> At first, Courtney thought it was a gift left at the wrong house until she saw the card, which read, to a sweet girl who deserves a sweet ride. And it had a little Christmas saying in it, and then it was signed from a loving neighbor. <laughs> God bless, love Santa. With the warm weather, Deanna and her father have already been riding through the neighborhood. Because it's hard. There's not too many things we can do together. Like, she can go to the playground, she can go on swings. But it's not something, you know, yeah, we're pushing her, she's sitting, but this is something actually bonding, doing together, driving it together. So it's like she has her big girl power wheel. The world that we live in today, it's nice to see that there are still nice people out there and what the real true meaning of Christmas is. It's about giving. Courtney and Tom tell me they hope their mysterious and generous neighbor comes forward so they can provide an appropriate thank you. I'm Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.